So starting now for the third time, good morning, welcome back to another bow review. Today we talk about the Buck Trail hike. We saw already the Buck Trail Flint. This is the Tatar version from Buck Trail. Flint was the Ottoman style. Looks pretty neat. I unboxed it now already because I do this video now the third time. My camera simply failed to record two times, so I hope it will work now. The bow was provided by Mortar Archery. What can I tell you? You get the bow, the string, the sleeve and a nice documentation where everything is written down. And this bow is a Tatar laminated, has a length of 52 inches. The string is 48 inches, the brace height is 7. The poundage of this one is 40. And you can have this bow, I think, from 25 to 50, if I'm not mistaken. And the max draw is 31 inches. So 54 inches from knock to knock, fall on the floor, of course, and the uh, arrow pass 19 millimeters or 19.5. Of course, you get a string. Mm, let's see again. The longer part is usually the bottom part. Pretty bow. Now, oh, is it windy? So stringing easy no problem at all looks uh, neat looks good we have seven and a quarter it's fine maybe the string will stretch a little then we are at seven looks very good it's oh, stiff and oh, good stiff so it's not a problem let's see looking good handle is a little small but it's normal for me Ooh, ooh, nice. 28, 29, 30, 31. No stacking. Mm. So at 31, we don't have stacking. You could throw this bomb as well with 32, but we keep it at 31. Look. Was now a little. Yeah, we need to shoot this one now. So with 9 grain per pound, 40 pounds at 28, 31. So I guess we end up at. 48 pound then the 330 grain are a little too lightweight but I still shoot them now <laughs> so I think they're a little too lightweight 330 grain we will measure then the bow what it has but simply nice fast little vibration in the handle but you feel it so 400 grain should be then kind of like in the ballpark of what you should have, I guess. Let's see. Oh yeah, nice. Center shot. You still feel a little vibration in the handle. Might disappear over time, but it's there. But nice in the group. Shoots nice, does everything. I said handle is a little small for me. You have a narrow arrow pass, seven inches brace height. Pretty well good. Pretty well good. Pretty neat. When we talk about the price, we didn't talk about the price. At Morta Archery, you get this bow with the, with the string and the sleeve, obviously. Then with a second string. With the documentation and with three matching carbon arrows for 190 euros, which is, I think, for a complete set, not too bad. At 28. Nice, nice, nice. Looks good. 28. 36.9. I give it 37. Wanted to say before, it doesn't feel like a complete 40 pounder. But it's fine, three pounds at 30. We have 42 and at 31. It's here, we have 44.5. Seven and a half pounds in three inches gives you and a half inches per pound, just fine. No, let's see, 28. So draw is nice of this bow. Looks a little uneven here. Don't know why, look, you see that? 
It looks very uneven. So I have the tips at the same height, but you see this curve has a little, it's not the most balanced one, I guess. So I don't trust this ball. And obviously, there we go, 28, string angle of 60. The bow is a little, this one bends quite a lot, so this way around would be nicer to shoot. Because then you have the weaker one on top. This one was, you saw it on the video, a little out of shape. But mass production, this is what you get. So you get nice ears, very thin, very sleek, nice made, really well crafted. This white small string pads, we know them already. Nice made. Limbs look good. <coughs> Handle part could be a little bigger for me. You have these arrow passes in, I think, ABS. Here these transitions are, yeah. They could be a little nicer. Here it's a little scratchy, you hear that? Here it's smooth. On the back it's smooth. The hike. Nice, le nice leather handle with a really nice seam. Nice made. Now you have the description on the bow. So overall it's nice. It's only on the tiller you saw that the lower limb is a little coming in a little more than the upper one. So this is things I am not the biggest fan of, but as long as the bow works, it's fine. Shoot the 330 grain again, but you don't want to do this, okay? And 600 spine is a little too weak for this bow. Look what it does. You saw how it wobbles. Spine is too weak. Of course, you can compensate with cutter and string twist, but why String twist, string twist, but why should you do that? First get proper arrows. They work with your bow and then improve the performance, but don't, uh, you know, make everything depending on already cutter and string twist. So they are 400 grain and 400 spine. No, 500 spine. I forgot now. 500 spine or 400. 400 spine, yeah. They are stiff. Oops. Takes a few shots, but it kicks your arrows nice away. So shooting experience is nice. And yes, of course, last time because I broke some arrows, somebody mentioned you should go further away, but then I need to walk that far. So laziness beats broken arrows. 400 grain. Ooh, 190, look at this. 186, nice, 185, only just you see what it would do with 330 grain, but of course we don't shoot these arrows, they are too lightweight. 196, 200, <laughs> so I only wanted to get 200, but you don't shoot it, please, with 330. Stick with nine grain at least, you feel it in the hand. Otherwise, and I don't think that the bow likes it in the long run. So the shooting experience of this bow is really nice. With the 400 grain arrows, the vibration in the hand, let's see again what it does. A little, so you have a little hand shock, but it's fine. One, two, three, four, five. So vibration is not that long, but you have this slightly kick in the hand. Even with uh, 400 grain, you still feel it. So 400 grain, the speed is just nice, but you feel it a little. If you don't like this in the hand, go a little heavy and you lose a little on speed, but it's still fine. Completely, look, this is the distance from here. Yeah, a little, a few millimeters out of tiller. But this one bends a little too much for me, but it's fine. So, one, two, three, four, five. 
So it's nothing extraordinary. You only feel it quite a bit in the hand. So the oscillation really meets there and you feel it. I mean, the handle is quite small. If you don't like it, you can double up the handle to fit your European hand. Like I would almost have to do it when you see the handle is really quite small, but it's doable. So it's nothing, it's not too bad. It's not, not too bad, not too bad. How could I live without my Songu arrows? Huh? Upside down. When you have a nice arrow pass, it's quite easy to see. Nice. Katara comes nice. It's a pretty bow for the price. String twist and Katara. Nice. Oh, that was a bad job. Yeah. Let's shoot them one more time. So vibration with the 400 grain is fine. With the oh, 330, you really feel it. So it's too lightweight. Even if you shoot center shot to lightweight, at least 400 grain for this 40 pound. But for the rest, this one is sturdy, nice. And you don't have stacking at 31 inches, which I like a lot, obviously. Pretty. And still fast enough with 400 grain. Ow! I think I split another arrow. Suck. So, work on your form. <laughs> and if you are looking for a bow for horseback, this one, I guess, will do the job just nicely. Look, it takes a few minutes until you get used to it here. But then even this is no problem at all. And the other way around works even better. <laughs> Said so and failed. And this way around works too. Maybe not the best for it, but your Kashai style works no problem. But, you know, we have a quiver because we want to look smart and we shoot Ottoman style. And then it just works fine. So this bow does whatever you want for a relatively good price, I would say. Laminated bow with a good performance. Little handshock, 190 euros with three arrows, matching arrows obviously, so custom made matching arrows for you. A second string, sleeve and description. A no-brainer. And it's seriously one of these bows you don't want to put out of your hand because it's just nice to shoot. It's not this extraordinary whatever feeling, but this one simply is fast, shoots nice, draws nice. The string twist cutter are very nice. This is a fun shooter, so budget-wise, I would recommend this one. Now you saw the bow in action, the hike by Buck Trail. What you get in the package? Oh. So, and I do now the packaging from Maldarchi because they provided me with the bow. You get a bow, a string, a sleeve, a documentation and an extra string gives you 8 out of 10. Handling, this bow is easy, very easy to string. Is it does, it's, it's stiff enough so it doesn't wiggle. So beginner, no problem to string this bow. So for, for the handling of this bow, totally no problem, I would give it 10. For the build, it's nice made in the most parts. I mean, I like the seam. It's nice, almost seamless. But we have here these, these scratchy parts. So this is not so nice. The rest here is smooth. There is smooth, there is smooth. The rest, everything is smooth. The string pads are nice glued on, so we don't see any glue out there somewhere. So it's nice made but we have a little scratchy and that annoys the heck out of me. But it's only one point less, it's nine out of 10. The basic feel was, the bow doesn't wiggle, a handle is okay, it's, no, it's normal that they are a little small, it's always like this, I don't see it as a negative thing. 
and <coughs> bow is still straight because it's not wiggly so and the bow feels quite good in your hand so you have a nice control of this bow so for the handling where are we now for the basic feel i would give it a 10 and for the build i need to go back to the build because this asymmetrical tiller on the on the tiller stock you saw that the lower limb bent quite a little more I don't like so instead of nine points I give it seven so I give you two points less because this bow is not really the most balanced one but this can happen should not happen but happens in mass production they simply go through it bam 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 and you know this is what you get but of course this is what you pay for the draw experience this is can you stay there thank you draw experience is really nice so you have 28, 29, 30, 31. Then it gets a little stiff after 31, but this bow would do 32, but we don't go there. And as you saw, it's two and a half pounds per inch. It's just doesn't get any better. Draw experience, 10. And shooting experience, you feel it a little. So even with 400 grain arrows, which would be, what do we have? 44 pounds, 44 and a half max. So 40 is just around about 9 grain per pound, minimum grain. You still feel it in the hand, so you have a little hand shock. Vibration is not that much, but you feel this slightly... Yeah, you feel it a little, so I give it 9 out of 10. It's not the most annoying, but it's a little annoying. 54, 2, 5, 6, yeah, 54. Price value, I give it 5. It's 190 with a second string so you don't have to worry if something happens to your string you have the second one with you when you're out and about and shoot the string breaks or whatever you put the second one on it and you can continue then you order the next string you get a sleeve you get the documentation and the warranty card which is nice 190 euros i would say it's a completely you don't have to think about it it's it's nice made so it's well made it's simply mass production and then i think the quality control by buck trail or by whomever win-win builds them is not completely there. so you feel sometimes slightly you feel it a little so there's the, the complete refinement is not there so i think seven points here even there when you go through you feel a slight bump and then it goes up again so you have this small dents and bumps running which can cause problems they don't have to but this is mass production bow this is what you get and what you pay for if you get this one as a, like like from ali bow then you don't have these small dents in it but of course you pay 300 dollars or something free shipping so you need to know you pay a little less you get a good performing bow but it's mass production and as i said quality control is not there they could be better but most probably with their high output numbers, they don't manage to get it better done. I don't know. So this is the thing to consider. I would always suggest this is a 40 pound. I would not go higher. So this one is still okay to shoot. You remember when I did the flint, I had a 50 pound directly exploded on the tiller stock. Can happen, I said, with these minor things. But when you get a low poundage bow for a beginner, 25, 30, 35 pounds, this one is doing a very good job. Don't get higher poundage with them or at least be aware that they can. The more pressure and the more it's, it's with a laminated bow. They're good quality, don't get me wrong, but you need to be a bit aware of. In low poundage, completely no brainer. It would not go beyond 40 pounds, but that's my opinion yours might vary so that's all then thank you Danny from Malta Archery for providing me with this bow so I could test it and that's all thank you very much for watching catch you in the next one